Hi, my name is John Derrick. I'm with Apollo Sprayers in Vista, California, and I am the president and the CEO. Uh, I think a lot of the biggest trends are in the, uh, the coatings and the way the coatings are changing, um, being uh, directed from the EPA mostly, um, and lowering the VOC contents of a lot of the coatings nowadays. We're seeing a lot of trends towards waterborne finishes and, uh, and those finishes becoming the staple for, the, uh, for woodworking. Uh, and so uh, being able to uh, spray those finishes uh, and get good results with them is, is obviously a concern of all of our customers. And so it's our job to make sure that, uh, that we're uh, following those trends and making sure that our equipment stays up on top of those uh, changing, water uh, changing materials. There's way less resistance to waterborne finishes now than there ever has been in the past. Um, spraying the, uh, the chemicals uh, have changed so much that the formulations are a lot better than they used to be even five years ago. Biggest challenges the customers face, I think, is with uh, complying with the local governmental laws and things like that, and especially in the challenges in the finishing department. Uh, part of those come from the VOC regulations that, that many states are, are um, instilling upon their uh, on the businesses in those states now. Uh, and part, so part of that comes from equipment and part of that can come from the finishes themselves. And we're all working together basically to meet those challenges to reduce the VOCs, to meet the governmental requirements, but also make it so that businesses can stay in business. Education is number one, absolutely. You need to understand not only the chemical makeup and the, and the materials that you're spraying, but you also have to have an inter intimate understanding of the equipment that you're using as well and how to best use that equipment to get the results that you're looking for. Well, we're already seeing the future developing and uh, at, at shows like today. Um, the solvent, uh, the water-based materials uh, have been uh, maturing so much to where they're getting to the production point now where they can put on one or two coats and get a nice heavy build and uh, in a production finish and still get a really nice quality finish. And meeting the challenges of those higher viscosity products and higher solids products is, uh, is always in a challenge for, from an equipment standpoint. And so um, just being able to keep the equipment up with the, uh, the leaps and bounds that we're making in um, coatings technology nowadays is, is going to be where the future is. And being able to atomize those materials as well as we do today. And that's where developing new, new materials, new, new equipment, better spray guns and all of that will come into play.